welcome to analytics with nax in this video i'm going to talk about use relationship function in dax and i will talk about a inactive relationship also so what it is when to use it and once you use it what are the challenges you are going to face that's what we are going to see in this video let's begin so use relationship specify the relationship to be used in a specific calculation as the one that exists between column one and column two this is the book definition that no one understands let's try to understand it pictorically let's say you have a sales table that is a fact table and you have two different dimension and in this particular dimension you have one active and inactive relationship always a relationship uh, which is active Uh, only be be used for the filters let's say you filter the year this active relationship filters for the sale date so that is what you will apply but whereas this inactive relationship which is for the delivery date which will not be considered unless you want to use it when you want to use it you can use the use relationship that will override the active relationship then you will activate your inactive this is the book uh, actual purpose of this use relationship i have made a detailed video on this particular uh, topic you can check it out but all i want to highlight here is what is the challenge when you have uh, when you want this uh, inactive relationship column to be part of the filter uh, or in the uh, another table as a uh, detail list in that case you will not um, this particular use relationship this inactive relationship will not be useful that is the whole purpose of this video let's try to check it out what is the problem uh, statement then we will understand what will be the solution this channel contains a free content that covers uh, msbi power bi and fundamentals of azure please use this free content share this channel with your friends and colleagues let's begin our today's topic so i am into power bi now so as i said before if you watch my use relationship video you will understand what this visual is let me go through the model again so we have sales and this is the relationship which is based on the sale date and the date id which is the active relationship and we also have a inactive relationship based on the delivery date in the sales and the date id in the dim date now my question is uh, if you see here and also i have the delivery quantity which is based on the use relationship and uh, we also have a quantity which is based on the base measure i didn't create that uh, explicit measure for simplicity i use the uh, explicit measure for the delivery quantity so where this quantity uh, value shows based on the active relationship whereas this delivery quantity is based on the inactive relationship that we have activated using this calculated uh, measure now if you see here uh, this is the year wise value when you use uh, 18 2018 this is the 2016 quantities are sold on 2018 and only 1957 has been delivered okay maybe remaining quantities are delivered in the next year okay now my question is what are the uh, items line items that are being delivered on 2019 which is ordered in 2018 right uh, how can i found that because now i can see only delivered item is there there can be um, or i can say what is ordered in 2017 and delivered in 2018 when i choose this one uh, i don't i will get a entire thing in 2017 i get 2276 ordered but delivered also i'm getting but i'm not looking at this what i need is i want whatever ordered in 2017 then ordered year should be 2017 and i need another filter here which is nothing but my delivery year how can i achieve this um uh, delivery yeah this is my 
problem statement so i'm not able to rename it let's me rename again home delivery year there you go sorry be with me that's it so delivery year should be 2018 so i'm not able to achieve this with the current model okay so that what i need to do is for in order to achieve it this use relationship or inactive relationship doesn't work i literally need to copy this uh, dimension and then create an active connection to the delivery date then i can be able to achieve it that's what i'm going to do in order to copy this uh, new table click on new table order date i will say dim date sorry this is not order date delivery date just a copy of uh, dim date i will get everything and i will create a uh, one more relationship based on the delivery date this will be one to many active relationship now for this delivery year instead of picking it from dim date i will use it from the delivery year now i can choose 2017 here and i'll choose 2018 now you can see uh, what happened here is whatever order quantity there is nothing delivered on 2018 whereas when i choose 2018 and 2019 here i got 23 count so this is what i am trying to achieve uh, earlier when I, when you choose these two i get two quantities here right so uh, i mean two zero one six one nine five seven this is how i am getting without this filter whereas right now i can also use this filter so these many quantities ordered in 2018 and these are delivered on 2019 okay this is what i'm trying to achieve so um in this way where you are going to use uh, all this kind of situations like you have multiple locations to be delivered Let, let's say like um, you are in a logistics and you have a source location and transit location and you have a shipment location and final hub location and uh, finally it is the uh, delivery location so you have different locations to tackle and based on different areas right from source to uh, delivery how many uh, shipments are pending those kind of stuffs in order to track it with between uh, one location to other location what is happening then you cannot use the relationship inactive relationship only that is used for the count but when you need this uh, uh, role playing dimension we call it as role playing dimension to be part of the filters or part of the uh, tables you need to replicate your uh, dimensions here then you need to create an active relationship this is what uh, solution i uh, prefer if you have any other solutions or if you think uh, that can be done in any other way please comment below and share this video if you like it and do remember that data is your asset